Hello again. I recently watched Season 1 and the first two episodes of Season 2 of Ozark. Let's start with Season 1. Season 1 was spectacular. The writing was all uh, was really smart and witty. I really would recommend you watch Season 1 of Ozark. It is similar to Breaking Bad in a lot of ways. By the way, this is on Netflix. So if you like Breaking Bad, y you might like this show. The Marty Bird character, played by Jason Bateman, is something that I haven't seen before in TV or movies. The way he solves problems, or specifically financial problems, is really a sight to see. As someone interested in finance myself, I really enjoyed seeing his mind operate. It was sort of like a business show, but it was the money laundering business, which is probably bigger than most people realize. I mean, our president was laundering money for Russian oligarchs, so I'm pretty sure it is a common job op occupation in the United States as well as other countries. Ozark shined a light on the intriguing process of money laundering. In that sense, the educational entertainment value was well worth my time. The first two episodes of season two I watched were kind of terrible, so I didn't watch the rest of season two. I, I've seen this happen many times before. Let me tell you something. I've noticed in television in general that Netflix is c especially consistent at doing what Ozark did was they fired all their executive producers from season one for season two. If you check their IMDB page, Ozark had eight executive producers per episode for season one, and they had two executive producers per episode for season two. I know what happened. If you look at it, uh, the same exact thing that happened in se season two of Daredevil and season two of House of Cards. Netflix either fires all their writers from season one or fires all their executive producers from season one. What happens is there is a huge drop off in writing and show quality in season two of these programs. That is why I will not go back to watch, f to finish watching season two of Ozark. Um, networks probably do this to save money. It's like when the West Wing fired Aaron Sorkin, the show went down the tubes. I don't know why more reviewers don't notice the drop in quality of this stuff. It's like uh, it's when they see this. It's like when they see the same actors and they think it's just the same show. I personally don't see it that way. I give Ozark one thumb up and one thumb down. The season one was spectacular, and season two is not worth my time. Anyways, now time for my sales pitch. I've written a book. It's called From Zero to Hero. I know what you're thinking. How are you supposed to be successful like me? Well, I've got good news for you. I started out just like you at one time. I was a Joe Schmo. I didn't have a career. I used to eat pasta for dinner. Now look at me. I am working at one of the fastest growing agricultural companies in the world. I'm making more money now than I ever had before. And most importantly of all, my wealth capital is increasing. What if I told you you too could be successful like me? If you click the link below this video and buy my ebook from Amazon, From Zero to Hero, then I guarantee you will start seeing the same results. Do you want a sports car? I can show you how to buy one. Do you want a mansion? I can show you how to buy one. My book, From Zero to Hero, will answer all those questions and more. I can make you wealthy. Just follow my simple steps and all of your wildest dreams will come true. You don't need any special skills or special talents. I will outline what I did and how I became a success overnight. Purchase From Zero to Hero by clicking the link below this description of this video. This is one opportunity you will not want to pass up. Change your life now. Order it today. Thank you for watching and have a great day.